Welcome back to Beatles Trivia Springboard. Today on our show, albums and singles. I am not confident, but we will see. Albums and singles. And we begin. Released in 2000, sold over 8 million copies in the U.S. in only one year. Why am I asking questions like this? I don't know. Uh, 2000. Wow. Uh... Was it that number one? It was just called like Beatles One. It just had all the like greatest hits on it. I had already owned all the CDs by then, so I was not interested in Beatles Number One. But I think it was all their number one hits. That's I'm just gonna just gonna go with that. It wouldn't be like live at BBC One. That was that was earlier. All right, that's my guess. And that Circus Soleil stuff that came like in like 2007, eight. I don't know. Beatles won. That's my guess. Looks like I was correct. So this is all about the Beatles won. Wow. Okay. I have it. I, 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 it was, it was, I, I ordered some Beatles stuff on eBay and they just threw that in. I don't think I've ever listened to it because I, I never felt the need, but okay. The album has a, has a yellow painted one appearing on what color background? Oh, it is red. I know what the cover looks like. It's, it's, it's red. I feel like I might have a copy behind me, but I'm sure they're all upstairs. Okay, wow. This is, uh, this is, this, this is engaging, isn't it? It's all about a, a CD that came out in the year 2000. The booklet package with the Beatles' number one album contains several images of what? Um... The Beatles. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave it that. I, I don't know. I've never flipped through the book. I'm just gonna say the Beatles. Or okay, if you want to get more specific, maybe the covers of the original 45s. I don't know. Oh no, they were apparently they were colorful portraits of each Beatle. So I, I guess I was correct. Uh, who took them? Um, how about Linda McCartney? That makes, that, that, that seems to track. That's, that's going to be my guess on that one. What U.S. magazine originally published a colorful Beatles portraits used for the number one album? Rolling Stone. If it's not Linda McCartney up here, it's, uh, no, Leibowitz didn't do Beatles. Maybe she did. And I'm just going to, I'm going to say Rolling Stone here. And then... How many songs are on the album? I'm going to say 24. No, no reasoning behind that at all. It's about how many you can sometimes get on a CD. All right. All right. Well, this was a humdinger, eh? What do we got here? Number one. It was red. Yes, it was. Picture sleeves from all over the world. Okay. I'll have to look closer at that. Cool. Oh, Avenden. Richard Avenden. Okay. I'll put more about him down there. And Look Magazine. So I was so... Uh, there we go. The January 9th, 1968 issue. I wonder how much that goes on eBay. I have to look that... Now I'm going to look this 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 issue up on eBay. Um, see if that's even reasonable. And I was off by two on the number of songs on this CD. So I'm, I'm going to give myself a small pat on the back for that. Oh, I said, did I say 24, 25? Oh, man. All right, well, I was off by two or three. All right, so uh, that's all one really needs to know about the Beatles' number one album that came out in the year 2000. Um, that was something else, huh? That's that's sometimes how the Beatles trivia, uh, that, that this is how it goes. Yeah. Until next time, who knows? Hmm.